According to almost all international reports on religious liberty, China holds the world record for violations of religious liberty and persecution of religious believers. In China, only five religions whose leaders are appointed by the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, and which are strictly controlled by the government, can operate freely, although they too are subject to limitations. Sociologists call this the red market of religion. Millions of believers are part of a gray market, which includes thousands of Protestant house churches. With a new law that came into force on February 1, 2018, President Xi Jinping vowed to destroy this gray market. Scholars believe that one and a half million religious believers are detained in the dreaded transformation through education camps, in fact, concentration camps, where people are submitted to heavy labor and indoctrination regimes are tortured and die. But there are believers in China persecuted even more heavily than those in the gray market. They are part of the black market of the religions included in the list of Xiaotao, periodically updated by the authorities. The Church of Almighty God is the largest and fastest growing Chinese Christian new religious movement. Governmental sources credit it with four million members. It is because of its phenomenal growth and its theology opposed to communist atheism that the Church of Almighty God has been mercilessly persecuted by the CCP. It has been listed as a Xia Xiao since 1995. It claims that more than 300,000 of its members have been arrested. NGOs have documented numerous cases of torture, extrajudicial killings, and suspected organ harvesting. Some members of the church had to leave their families by fleeing abroad to escape imminent arrest. Christians in all countries stand up for the rights of these refugees. In Germany, the German Evangelical Church, the largest Protestant church in the country, has raised its voice in favor of the refugees of the Church of Almighty God. In Italy, pastors of the Waldensian Church, the oldest Protestant denomination in the world, help members of the Church of Almighty God. In the Czech Republic, the Silesian Church of Evangelical Augsburg Confession, the Ecumenical Council of Churches, and the Czech Catholic Episcopal Conference have signed appeals and organized meetings to support the same Chinese refugees. In Korea, however, the unthinkable happened. Rather than siding with refugees and defending their human rights, people claiming to be Christians took to the street and staged demonstrations not in favor but against harmless asylum seekers from the Church of Almighty God. How was it possible? Who manipulated them? Bitter Winter investigated the issue and is able to tell you the full story.